Yes, your mobile phone is a TV studio in your hand. You can use it on vacation and you can use it for business. We show you the tricks to easily creating your own videos and we'll share an app that makes you seem flawless on camera. Plus, we can show you a little genie magic. Don't blink, Undercover Jet Setter is coming your way. Hi everyone, cheers. And cheers. You know, our show is about travel, food, wine, and golf, but it's also about showing you how to create your own videos or even your own TV show. So we thought that we would take this entire show to give you some of the tricks that we use. Now you can also read about all of them in our book, The TV Studio in Your Hand, which is available on Amazon. But for now, sit back and relax, grab a drink, and we will show you what happens behind the scenes. And also, it's not that complicated. Shooting vacation videos on your iPhone is so freaking easy. All you have to do is go horizontal, wide, and steady. Now here are a few basic tips from our book. First, shoot in landscape. In other words, horizontal, not vertical. Second tip, record and let everything happen in your screen. Third, don't move. Hold steady for at least 7 to 10 seconds. Now watch what happens. This is from a resort home in Curacao. This is a wide 7 second shot held steady. Now here is 7 more seconds of the rocks. Here is a 7 second shot of the table. And here is a seven second shot of the cactus. That's 28 seconds of video that you produced from only shooting seven seconds of video. Now editing in the iMovie app allows you to squeeze the video without ruining the clarity of the video. Here's something even simpler. Now this is 10 seconds of video shot at a bar. Again, horizontal, wide, and steady. The first 10 seconds shows a wide shot. The next 10 seconds zooms in on certain bottles on the right. The next 10 seconds zooms in on the left. 10 seconds of video makes 30 seconds. Just hold steady and let the camera do the work. So that will help you get a clean, steady, and watchable video. That's right. There's nothing worse than a video that gives you motion sickness. <laughs> and the good news <laughs> is that most of today's smartphones have built-in cameras with stabilizers and that helps keep the video steady. And you can also put the camera on a tripod to video yourself. Now this allows you to shoot and then post videos right away without having to do much editing. Here is a great tip from our book, The TV Studio in Your Hand. It works really well when you want to give friends and family a quick update on what's happening in your life, but you also want it to look professional. Cheers. Welcome. We are coming to you from Kuala Lumpur, or KL as it's also known. Like us here in Malaysia, you have great vacation video. And you want folks back home to see it ASAP. Or maybe at work you need to post something immediately for your customers. When is golf going to happen here at River's Edge? John, we are absolutely ecstatic to announce that we're going to reopen tomorrow. River's Edge Golf Club wanted their golfers to know that the course would be open the next morning after a recent hurricane. Our team has done a phenomenal job. We have an outstanding maintenance crew, great staff. They were on site at 7 a.m. Friday morning. And you can do this on your iPhone. These are tricks from our book. As we mentioned, it's called the TV Studio in Your Hand, and it's available on Amazon. And here's how to do it quickly and professionally. Shoot a nonstop interview with your subject or speak your message on camera for two to three minutes. Now make sure to prep ahead of time to know what what you're going to ask or say. This will be the foundation of the video. You don't want to make edits on this portion. Remember, we're trying to turn this around quickly. Next, drop the interview or on-camera segment into the iMovie editing system on your iPhone. Then cover portions of the on-camera segment with video you shot that pertains to the segment. Choose the video and the exact place to drop it. Hit the three dots icon, then choose cutaway. 
it will drop in over the video segment while the sound remains. Choose other videos to cover other portions of the interview. Then save the video and upload it to your sites. It's that easy. Once you've mastered this, we would love to see it. And who knows, you might get a segment on our show. And great to have you join us. So cheers. Cheers. Now, these tips we give you are also great to use if you have a business. Now, sometimes you might want to get the word out to customers or staff about what's going on. Now, try using these same techniques to reach them with video. So what about you being on camera? Well, for many of you, it may seem a little difficult talking directly to a phone rather than a person. Practice it as much as you can and it will become second nature, almost as if you were talking to a friend. Of course, you still have to remember what you want to say and not have to do it a ton of times over and over. <laughs> yeah, but you can get around that with this app. We have a new app to tell you about. It's another easy step in making your smartphone your own TV studio in your hand, just like we say in our book. That's right. Now, the app is called Teleprompter. It works like you are working a TV news anchor desk. Your scripts are now embedded and scrolling right on your camera screen. We use it here on this business opportunity video about virtual training that we produced for you. We can create virtual training courses for you and your business. Now, this video platform can train all of your employees the way you want them to be trained in an interactive and fun way. Now, it also helps your employees practice and repeat what you want them to do. Plus, it tests them to let you know whether they know the material or not. Now, can you tell the difference? We are actually reading our script rather than ad-libbing. Now, watch these two dingbats trying to discuss a cheap <laughs> libation without a teleprompter. And you know, that bourbon was only $6.99. Is that the beginning of it? Yeah. Is that not what we're supposed yeah, to say? Yeah, that's exactly. I just completely forgot about it. So, two, okay. And you know that bourbon was only six ninety nine. What'd you say? Six ninety nine. <laughs> oh, that's what you say. Oh, okay. Now I don't get what we're doing with that. Should we just take it out? Amateurs. Teleprompter by Joe Allen is easy to load. It is also simple to write your scripts. You can actually dictate right into the phone if you want. The other great benefit, the script moves to the side of the screen where the camera lens is on any smartphone. Now this makes it look like you are speaking directly into the camera to your audience. The app is about $16. It comes with a teleprompter script app. Now this makes it easier to load the script from a Word doc. If you're shooting your own show, like we do, we highly recommend it. And if you're delivering delivering video messages to your friends or employees, this is also a great tool that will save you time. Now, don't say you can't be a TV star. Hey, if it can help these two. By the way, who are they? No clue. Uh, let us know how you're going to use it. Now, it was actually pretty funny to watch all of those outtakes. <laughs> yeah. And we should also point out that we try to make our show conversational and spontaneous, so we don't really want that scripted feel. So you could always use the teleprompter app as just a reminder of the talking points that you want to cover. Now, we suggest you get one and use it as many times as possible to get comfortable with it. And when we come back, we'll go into shooting food and drinks. Welcome back. We are talking about how to create great videos on your smartphone. Now, one of the great things about smartphones is that you can capture food at angles you normally wouldn't see. I mean, how many people really stick their face down into their plate of food? <laughs> now, with the camera on your phone, you can get great up close and personal shots to see the texture and the yumminess of the dishes that you're enjoying. Now, here's a piece we did at a great steakhouse in Akron, Ohio. Not only was the food great, but our conversation with our dinner guests was hysterical. <laughs> now, while you watch this, keep in mind that we used a small tripod set up right next to the table to get these steady shots. Lanning's is the place, but it is more than a steakhouse. It's a place where American Dream steak meals are made, as our good friend Dale explains. Uh, I've been to some of the big steakhouses, for instance, uh, in Kansas City, Kansas. Uh, I've been to some of the renowned steakhouses in New York City. Uh, and, and, you know, restaurants in, in New Orleans and in Atlanta. 
in Los Angeles and yeah. Washington DC. Uh, this steak will withstand scrutiny to any of the finest steakhouses in, in the US and I don't think that's an overstatement. But Lanning's food is so exhilarating it leads to some of the most interesting or strange dinner conversations. Along with Dale's wife Kathy, we dove in to the French onion soup. It is so high. Besides being served at the perfect temp, there is cheese. Lots of cheese. Now notice how you almost have to lift it up over your head to get the cheese to break. We also dove into this asparagus cream soup. This is <laughs> asparagus soup is delicious. And it was, but clearly asparagus soup had a strange effect as my first soup intuition was proven faulty. I probably like that better than the onion soup. It's really, really? Well, that's yeah. my first thing, and then John said to order the onion soup. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> So I got off that topic and asked Dale the question we have all been thinking. Do you worry about your pee smelling funny? The <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> is going to get edited. Oh my god. Uh, well, maybe, yeah. maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that did cross my mind. <laughs> Quickly, we moved to the salad. That was fabulous. I like this. It's like having your own salad. I know. It comes Eat right it. to you. How fun is this? Go ahead. I'm done. The salad presentation enhanced our senses, especially our hearing. We thought we heard a foghorn. Meanwhile, the salad included croutons, beets, blue cheese, olives, and anchovies, which led to your always strange gourmet response. Yeah, that's hair on the fish. <laughs> Hairy fish, you don't want a hairy fish on my salad. We chose a syrupy balsamic vinaigrette. Now for the steak. We all got filet, which tells you something. Look at that. Doesn't that look amazing? Did you get the same thing, Dale? You get a filet? Mm-hmm. What'd you get? Filet. We all got filet. Shrimp. Scampi. Yes. Oh, you got scampi? The scampi. That delicious. Oh my god. Isn't that delish? <laughs> You don't mean the steak knife to cut it. You're right. You can go cut it with a butter knife. Really good. I can't think of a better filet I've had in recent memory. Uh, it was uh, incredibly felt flavorful, cooked to perfection. I, I had my medium rare, uh, and could literally cut it with a fork. It was okay, that tender. Uh, and, and it was just a pleasure to eat. Kathy added some scampi to her filet. Your scampi looks divine. It is divine. Oh my god. This is like pure garlic butter. It is so good. The vegetables were a medley of Brussels sprouts and carrots, and then the baked potato. Of course, we want butter. It's butter. Definitely. Add the sour cream, and you have a luscious side dish to complement that filet. I've been to a lot of restaurants uh, in a lot of cities, uh, and I have to tell you, that is one of the finest steaks I've had in a very, very long time. So if an individual is, is really interested in a fine uh, steak, I'd I drive a considerable distance for this one. It doesn't stop at the dessert either with this caramel apple cheesecake. Caramel apple. Correct. A cheesecake. It's just shot through with big chunks of apple. Obviously caramel on top. Yes. Uh, it's creamy. Uh, it. And it has kind of little surprises, because when you bite into it, these little apple chunks show up, and they're great. Aren't you glad you got it? I'm so thrilled we got it. I, I wouldn't have had it any other way. It was my wife's choice. <laughs> she's always gets and the she's best always ones. right. Smart man, that Dale. And you would be smart to hit landings any time you are near Akron, Ohio. And you're right, we did pick up some funny dialogue in there, too. (laughs) And we should also mention that since our show is focused on food and drinks, we mainly focus on the items without showing people's faces. That doesn't mean that you can't do that. Just see what works for you. Now, using two cameras can also make your video look better. We do that a lot with our mixology pieces. Here's a piece that we did with a classic Hemingway cocktail. Notice that there are two camera angles that we go back and forth between. So welcome back to the kitchen, and this time we have something special. 
Now, it is a Hemingway Daiquiri with a Jet Setter twist, but the difference is, and hopefully Papa gives us his blessing with this, and Papa being Hemingway, if you're a Hemingway fan, you understand. I think we uh, have channeled Jet Setter from him into becoming Jet Setter, so, mm. Oh my God, that's still delicious. I love it. Okay, I love it, even though we changed a couple of things. changed the recipe a lot for himself. So in the 40s and 50s, when he was in Havana at the El Floridita, this is what he had all the time, and he changed it a lot. Now one of the things that was in the original recipe that we don't have in there is sugar. It was a big teaspoon of sugar. So we don't put that in there. That's yeah. the difference in it there. So, But what we could do is we could do a Papa Doble. What's a Papa Doble? You know what that is? No, I don't. You double the booze. We didn't this time. It's like a pasta doble. Absolutely. But a pasta doble. And Cheers to that. Did. I Absolutely. love it. Of course, that's Hemingway style. Hemingway would have originally called for a white rum. We did a gold rum. And uh, the reason why we did it was because we didn't have a white rum, so we did a gold rum. And that's what Papa would have done. Yes, exactly. Uh, of course, the maraschino is, is, is a classic. You have to do it. You have to have it. And you have to keep it in everything that Papa has. And then the only thing was that we didn't put the sugar in. Right. And, and to me, that makes no sense. Why would, you, why would you put sugar in it? I don't know. That's what they did in those days. Yeah, they did. The other thing that we changed was we used pink grapefruit juice rather than regular grapefruit oh, juice. And I think that's a changeable thing too. Mm -hmm. But um, as you said, there's two key ingredients that you always have to have, the maraschino cherry and the other one is the lime. You always have to have the lime. So that's our other tip. If you're going to make a Hemingway daiquiri, any kind of rum, maraschino cherry liqueur, lime, and whatever kind of grapefruit juice you have. And you can skip the sugar. I mean, it definitely doesn't need it. Mm. I think it's perfect. Just add more maraschino cherry liqueur. And as Papa would say, and it was good. And it is good. And the more you drink it, the more you fall in love with it too. Mm. Fabulous. Cheers. Now, what about being real clever? Watch how Susan can make me disappear. That's next. So we did a little I Dream of Jeannie sleight of hand and we'll show it to you in just a second. Now just to set it up, we were doing a segment on Pim's number one cup and I ran out of things to say so I made fun of her ponytail hairdo. And then two or three months later when we were shooting the show open in Hong Kong, we decided to have some fun. Perfect summertime drink. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And, and during a tennis match, I mean, it's so prim and pim. It's very nice. Yes. By the way, I, I get a chance to, to drink this with I Dream of Genie. So. <laughs> nice well, and I'm can, not going to call you, you like master that? if that's what you're thinking, oh, just yeah. so you know. But if you want like this, then we could end the second. No, she has to do, it's this. You have See? to do the arm fold. See what Did I'm saying? Did you not watch the show? See what I'm saying? Mm. Cheers to your health. Here, pins, number one. Uh, that was good, but your uh, I Dream of Jeannie hair really didn't work. Oh yeah? So, I just transported John to Las Vegas. That's coming up next, March Madness. Now, so many people are going to be upset when they realize it was just a video trick. So how did we do it? <laughs> we shot the scene two times. The second time, I had to stay in the same position. You moved out, and I redid my blink. 
Now the difficulty is making sure that that first shot and the second shot match. Sometimes you might have to shoot it a couple of times. And then we found that the blinking effect was online. So we dropped it in for free and put it in the audio in the editing app. Now before we go, just a, a word on smartphones. We use the iPhone because it is easier. We both have one. Plus we use iMovie to edit right off of the phone. Now you can use other phones. In fact, the other day I was talking to somebody from Canada who said the Huawei phone from China, which is having some trade barrier problems, is according to this gentleman, far better as a camera than the iPhone or the Samsung. So anyway, just go with your favorite and let us know how your video creations turn out. And happy videoing and cheers. Cheers.